All right, I'm convinced that uh, Q2 needs to be needs to be replaced. Um, I uh, turned it on from a dead coal and it wasn't firing up, and then I took my heat gun onto that transistor and it fired right up. So um, it definitely needs to go. There might be something else wrong with it, but that one definitely needs to go. Um, so let me zoom out a bit here. I need to figure out. It's really hard to tell from one side to the other which which needs to go. Oh man, I think it's. Let's see, we got. It's really hard to tell from one side to the other. I think it's that one right there. Those three right there. Um, let, me, let me take this middle one out. Let's see if that's the right. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. I'll just have to take it out. That's right. Yep. It came out. So when I painted red, and it says it's a C460. Let's put it on the on the little tester. Let's uh, let's see how he does. And then we'll put him on the curve tracer. I never really wants to see him on the curve tracer. See what he does with temperature and cooling and things like that. Ah, it shows as a diode. Doesn't even show as a an NPN. Interesting. Wow. Okay, let's put him on a on the curve tracer and uh, see what he does. All right, so I have it on the curve tracer here. It sort of looks like a transistor, although it's got very little gain at all. Here's a, yeah, see this is, well, you can't really see it. It's only measuring a beta of about seven. <laughs> it's really bad. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to I'm gonna put my heat gun on it. Oh, I can't reach. I can't reach. Uh, I'm gonna to have to move you guys. I got. I need to make it so I can get my heat gun onto this thing. All right, there we go. Now I can get my heat gun on it. Let's see if it uh, does something. Oh, look at that. Look at it, look at it get better as I heat him up. Now he's got a beta of at least 10. I don't know. Yeah, that looks, that transistor looks goofy to me. That definitely looks goofy to me. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's so low in everything. Low currents, low, low nothings. Uh, wow. All right, let's see here. Now it's got a beta of maybe 22, 20, maybe 30 best, something like that. Uh, yeah, this thing's wacky. Okay, let's go here. A little more collector current. A little more collector current. Oops. Yeah, I, phew, I don't know. I don't know if you can see that or not with all these lights on and everything. Usually when I do this, I try to turn the room lights down, but um, this is that transistor and this is that transistor. Look at, <laughs> uh, yeah, see this one has a beta of like 300 or something. And this one has a beta of like nothing. <laughs> so I'm gonna, 
I'm going to go ahead and uh, pop this one in. And uh, this is the B version too. It's not even the C version. C version is even hotter than that. So I'm going to try. I'm going to try it with the B version first. I think it's probably fine. And um, yeah, wow. Okay, so this one is base collector emitter. This one is collector base emitter. So uh, I need to. Um, Let's see here. Let's let's go back here. Okay, so this one, I need to get it into this socket here. Okay, so this one is going to be collector base emitter. I need to flop these guys, cross these guys' legs, so they don't shirt one another. Put it into this socket and see. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's the correct. That's the correct leg stance. So we will take this. Oh, okay, so the transistor has to go in like that. So here's my trick. I think I've showed it before, but I use this, uh, I use this blue, blue tack stuff and that will hold, I'll hold my part in while I flip it upside down to solder it in place. All right, let's see if it works. Turn it on and uh, no. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, 14 megahertz up. Didn't really help like I thought it would. All right, let's hook it up to scope, see what's going on now. Well, uh, here is the other transistor is oscillating just fine, except for that transistor I just put in there doesn't oscillate. Oh no. So I guess it's not a good replacement. Uh, or I did something dumb. Did I put it in backwards or something? Uh, uh, maybe I put it in backwards. Hmm. All right. <laughs> so the reason that I got it in backwards is because I was looking at the PC board and they had like a little D, a D shape thing. So you put the flat spot of the trend. Anyway, these little square things, the front is actually the, the one that you wouldn't imagine is the front. The one that has the writing on it is actually the back side, not the front side. So yeah, anyway, I got it right this time. Okay, so here are the, uh, this is the output of all the oscillators. So oscillator one, here's, here's a Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, Q5, Q6, Q7, Q8, Q8. So all of the, all of the oscillators are now working perfectly good now. Um, and, uh, so that is definitely an improvement. Now it doesn't mean the radio is completely fixed, but I do like it much, much better. Look how healthy that one is. That was the one that was sick before. Uh, so yeah, so it's better. So that replacing that transistor was the right thing to do. Um, and we will verify that we're getting all the right frequencies out. Let's get out our, let's get out our cheat sheet here. This one should be uh, 12.33. Let me adjust the, uh, let me adjust the frequency here on the dial. There we go. This one should be 12.33, three, 15.83, 22.83, uh, 29.83. Uh oh, 29.83, it's not. Well, this one should be 36.83 and it is. 37.33, which it is, 37.83, which it is, and 38.33, which it is. And this one, let's see, 22, 22.83, and this one should be 29.83, and it's 29.23. Wow. So, why is it so wrong 
when that transistor was starting to die, did people go twiddle the knobs in this thing? Because it's a beautiful oscillation now. Um, but it's not oscillating at the right frequency. Interesting. So, this could lead us to a better outcome. 29.83. Oh, I just got it to go 29.83. So that is the correct value right there. I put it, I did the IF shift on it. And when I IF shift it to neutral, it's 29.83. Perfect. And when I shift it over, it goes to 29.23. And now if I come back to the center, it's 29.83. So it is working good now. Okay, we can watch that. It's upside down, but uh, let's set it to something interesting. Let's set it to uh, 3.56, 7.06, 21.06, 21.06, 29.506, 0.6, 9.6. So, yeah, we have a perfectly working radio now. So that's good, but does it turn on fast? That's the, that's the kicker. I'll have to turn it off for a while and see if it comes back on. Okay, turn it on and boom. Yeah, I might need to cool things off and see if it does it from a dead start, but it is working, working a treat right now. All right. Anyway, uh, it definitely needed replacing. I get a much healthier oscillation. Um, and from the curve traces that we did on that transistor, it was sick. It was a sick puppy. So, um, yeah, success.